Hey guys, I'm back again. I just wanted to run you through some of the newer additions to my desktop since people have been asking. Um, as you can see, business as usual, we have the Thunderbolt displays uh, both running off the MacBook Pro. I have um, first off purchased this organizer from Ikea that holds all my wires high up so that when you're in the room and you see the desk come far away you don't see any wires in fact even from behind um, we have very few um, everything back here just tucks straight down and you actually need to be standing very far away before you can see this holder mounted to the very back of the desk that holds my power strip and all of the um, items that are plugged in. Um, also, a couple of other things. I purchased this, um, I don't know, headphone hook and I have some new headphones here. AKG K701 um, headphones which I upgraded from the Studio Beats Excellent headphones. Uh, I still need to purchase a separate amp to really get the full power, but even then, they're giving the Beats a run for their money. Uh, not as heavy on the bass, I'm sure you can already tell. Uh, beats tend to be a little more bass heavy than they should be, while these are uh, reference headphones. Things should be sounding exactly as they're intended to be. No extra anything and the AKGs do a really great job of that so I tend to just hang them right up here on this headphone hook that just sticks on with some 3M adhesive uh, I found online and I think it's a cool way just to hang it up there uh, found this wooden at sign in there um, using the three screens I pretty much have figured out my workflow of um, leaving the MacBook open currently as an extra screen um, of my, of my main program here in this case Photoshop or Illustrator whatever I'm using over here I split it up with mail on the top left I put my music in this case Spotify top right and uh, messages or iMessage in the bottom right so that when someone texts me I can reply without having to open up the phone and send it back and I'm also using a better snap tool so that uh, I can pop things in a particular quadrants or areas have them open up full screen um, if I need to move an object I'll just put it over here let go, let it snap to where it needs to be. Um, it helps me fill up at least this screen and then leave this one for majority of what I'm working on. And the third screen mostly just left for launching applications and um, other small stuff I'll leave open on the third one. Uh, last but not least, I have upgraded my RAM to the maximum allowed on the MacBook Pros, which is uh, two sticks of eight, which puts me up to 16 total. And I, uh, as of yesterday, wiped my Mac. And I have reinstalled Lion. So it is running very smooth, very fast. I only installed the things that I really need, and it's flying. I'm very happy with this setup. I am glad I did this as opposed to just getting an iMac and additional monitors. While it would have been more powerful, the ability to unplug and walk away with just these two plugs, just pop them out and uh, throw them in my bag or throw them in my case, which you can see over here, to be able to just pop it off, walk out the door, come back, plug it in, and have more than enough power to do everything I need is really great. Um, 
People ask a lot about performance. My performance has been really great. Uh, obviously, I'm running 16 gigs of RAM now, so it's even better. I haven't seen any issues. When I do watch internet videos a lot, I'll hear my fans kick on, but things don't really slow down. I don't really have the lag as much as my fans are kicking on. It's doing a lot of extra work. So, um, yeah, uh, if you don't mind your fans kicking on for, you know, three or four minutes <laughs> when you watch, if you're watching a lot of videos, then it, it works out well. Um, I'm sure it's not um, normal for it to be kicking on if you're watching videos for more than a few minutes, but I really don't do that very often, just occasional um, YouTube video now and then. Otherwise, it's mostly work related. Anyway, I can go in more detail later, but as of now, this is kind of my setup and where I spend 90% of my day. Uh, I don't really make uh, thousands of dollars, but I do work from home and this is what I do for a living and I spend almost all of my time here so I make sure that um, I invest my money in the things that I think are worth having. So I um, yeah, people ask a lot of questions about the cost. I figure if I'm going to sit here for uh, eight hours a day every day. I want to make sure that I have the chair I like, the keyboard I like, monitors I want to look at, have everything set up the way I want. Um, make the best out of it, right? So there you go, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. I can do more detailed reviews on anything you'd like. Uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll spit out another video when I get a chance. Thanks.